Hey everybody, this is Robius5991 here with Online Knights bringing you another Halo 4 Forge Map Showcase. So today's map is entitled Hadley's Hope and it is accompanied with the game type Xenomorphs, both of which have been submitted to us by Sly Weasel. So for you Aliens franchise fans out there, this is definitely going to be a map for you because the entire concept of this is based around the human terraforming colony of Hadley's Hope. And uh, the Xenomorphs, of course, are the aliens from that movie. So uh, for those of you who didn't know that, and I think that the Flood are actually a really good representation of those aliens. I'm not, I'm surprised nobody's really thought of that before. And uh, I think that he did a great job with this map. So uh, this is a linear progression Flood map. So what you're going to have is, you know, a progressive system. The humans are going to have to keep moving forward, trying to survive. And as I'm, as you're seeing here, these are the uh, different teleporting areas that the Flood can use to kind of push their way forward towards the humans. Um, the humans are going to have this first objective area to kind of hold at the very beginning while this doorway is going to disappear eventually uh, and that's their kind of initial holdout uh, here's a little bit of footage of me um, you're going to notice that at first the flood are going to be coming from down below there so you're definitely going to want to cover the area because on the outside you are a one hit kill for the flood so that's definitely something you want to pay attention to but uh, unfortunately for me i believe that if i didn't notice the flood come from behind where i am at some point from the upper wall so i do get eliminated rather quickly uh, right here is the flood teleporter room i love these little chambers he did it's very cool aesthetic and the uh, teleporters progressively go so as you can see here the door eventually opens leading to the second phase and once the humans are inside they now become a two hit to kill so that is definitely a good way to encourage the players to head on inside and not try to camp on the outside since you have a much better chance of survival so you're going to want to work your way down this tunneled area here kind of a long hallway you've got some turrets at the very end so you're only going to want to activate those once all the humans are in since their turrets will attack anybody in flood and uh, the Flood will have access to a few more teleporters in that room I showed you, and they will pop out through some of these different air vents, uh, some broken holes in the walls or in the roof, and uh, basically it gets rather frantic, the combat here, uh, the humans are really going to have to do their best to defend themselves, because as you can see, the turrets get wiped out, even the shield door, this is another access point for the Flood, there's just so many ways for them to get in. Um, so this map really requires a lot of good teamwork if you plan on surviving. So this is the same area once more, I'm just showing you uh, kind of the idea with the turrets here so you can see the last human kind of comes over and uh, you're just going to want to all jump over set the turrets up they will really help you cover the area but you will get overwhelmed rather quickly and that's why you want to hold the door and move along the second that that door opens so once again you go in here this is another area where the flood will be able to come out so you can set up two turrets to guard that door for you however that is not their only access point into this third phase so um as you can see, this is pretty much the final holdout room. It's the lab area, I believe. And uh, this is one of the f most frightening parts of the entire map. Although it's the best holdout, the Flood will be able to drop in from the roof. So that's really terrifying. I feel he pulls off the vibe from the movie so well, where you had the aliens kind of crawling through the air vents, through all of those areas in the uh, facility. So I think that, that was absolutely terrifying. I know I was freaking out when I was playing this. Um, but there's just so many different access points that the aliens can choose to drop in from if they want. Um, there is not any limit to it so really the humans are going to be on their feet for the entire period of this game uh, what's really cool here is after a little while you're going to have some kind of a barricade spawn in and uh, it is breakable by the flood they will have to break all four pieces in a certain way to make a hole and drop in and uh, that's another access point for them but until they do you know that's one other barrier to kind of protect yourself from uh, there's an example of the flood dropping in and the humans looking at the other direction unfortunately so they were kind of surprised and a few of them I believe get wiped out uh, bringing the turret with you is definitely another smart tactic so you're going to want to do all kinds of these little ideas to survive and there is that kind of barrier I was showing you there it's only partly broken so they need to break all four areas to get in anyways these are all the players I want to thank for helping us test out this map I actually had a lot of fun with this bit of an homage to the alien series and uh, thank you guys so much for participating in that with me uh, this has been robius5991 here with online nights if you guys want to submit your own maps to us please be sure to check the video entitled the honorary night system which will be linked at the end of this video thank you guys so much for watching please rate comment and subscribe and i will see you all next time